Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura and I love soft books. I love the concept of soft books. Well, number one, they're soft and they're washable. If a child chews them, well, he's not going to be chewing paper. You can't rip the pages out and I do like the idea of them just being soft. Now I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to make a soft book from the panel. So the first thing we need to do is decide what we're going to put inside the soft book in order to make it soft and to see exactly how soft we want it. You can get a product which is a fleece and you can get it fusible on one side or you can get it fusible on two sides and it is a product that is very very soft. However, it is like a quilt batting, so it's still going to give it shape. The next thing you can use is a product from Pelon called Peltex. And it is still soft, but it's a little bit more rigid. So it's more like a cardboard. So the soft book I'm going to make, I'm going to make it out of this Peltex from Pellon because I want it to be a little bit more like a board book. And I'm going to show you the difference between a book made with the fleece and a book made with the Peltex. The first thing you need to do when you get your panel is give it a good iron and make sure that all of the wrinkles are out because this is the time that is easiest to take the wrinkles out. And soft books come with pages that need to match and also comes with covers. And the covers are made a little bit bigger. And they're made that way so that when all the pages are sewn in that the book closes like a book. And the panels always have them marked for you. It'll tell you front cover, it'll tell you back cover, and it will tell you the page sizes. All the panels come with directions. And I'm going to show you a couple of tips and tricks to make this easier as you go along. Some panels will tell you to cut directly on the line and some will tell you to give yourself a seam allowance. This particular one is telling me to give a seam allowance. So I am going to cut the seam allowance allowed. Now it is recommending a half inch seam allowance. So you would cut a half inch all the way around. Now if you prefer to use a quarter inch then give yourself a quarter inch seam allowance. So cut out all of these pieces using that seam allowance that you want to sew with. Now if the fabric seems to be distorted that's fine because it's going to shift back into shape once you put the book together. So just follow the line that they had and cut it out either on the line or with the seam allowance. All the pages of the book have been cut out and I have the seam allowance. The next thing I do is I pin the pages together as they're supposed to be sewn together. And I put the book together to make sure that the pages are all falling in the right order. You know, you don't want page one where 10 should be. And in the directions, it will tell you what pages to match up. And then I work on one page at a time. Now what's nice with this Peltex being a little bit heavy is if your pages are a little distorted, it's going to force them into this shape that you want them in. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to cut the Peltex out as the size of the finished page without the seam allowance. It's just easier than having to turn this over. So I will need one large one for the cover and I'm going to need two smaller ones for the pages, which is going to give me four pages. Because there's going to be so many stacks of these that your machine needs to sew through, sometimes a machine does not want to sew through fabric that is so thick. So what you need to do is take the center of your page and just make little cuts. So you're going to have cuts like this. It keeps the pages together, but your machine is going to be able to sew inside of these little cut lines. And I like to do that for the inside pages, but you don't need to do it for the outside. And I do make sure that the holes are the same on both pages. The next thing is to just cut off the corner so it's not a very straight point because when the fabric is turned in 
you have a lot of fabric in this corner and that's just going to take some of the stress out of that corner. So with the right sides matching, I need to sew all the way around. And because this book is going to be used with the Peltex, I'm going to leave an opening because this will be slid in afterwards. If you're using the fleece, you can just fuse the fleece on one side and then when you turn the bag right side out, it's already inside. When you sew it together, if you lay the two pieces out, sometimes they're not going to match. They're going to look all askew, but they are going to be the same size because they're printed to be the same size. Just match up the edges as you go along. And even though it's not going to seem like it's all going to square up, it will when you put in the stabilizer. So the edges are sewn around and I have the opening on the one side. Trim off the little point on the four corners. Don't cut into the seam, just cut off those corners. So turn it right side out and poke out the corners. And then you're going to take the insert and just roll it and insert it right through to the end. Put your hand in the bag and push that Peltex right into the corners. The Peltex is in and you can see it's still not flat yet because the fabric was a little distorted. So just spray it with a little water on both sides. Make sure your seams are all along the edges. Your batting is inside all the way and now that it's been wet the fabric is going to relax and it's going to take the shape of the Peltex. So now you can take this to the iron and press it. And now you can see by just wetting this and ironing it, it's conformed to the shape that it should be and it's nice and flat. Do the next section and the cover. Top stitch with matching thread all the way around the page. And by doing that, you're going to close off that opening so you won't have to close it by hand. Now we can put the book together. The center pages are going to fit equally around the outside, so you're going to have a little space all the way around. And you need to sew now the spine. But before you sew the spine, one more time, check that book because it's very easy to get the pages all messed up. After you've matched the pages up, in the inside, remember you cut out those little spaces? You'll be able to feel. And you're going to be able to stitch right in those spots. And you're going to go all the way along. And go back and forth and do a couple of lines of stitching back and forth to secure the book. I recommend starting with the center one and then going out in both directions. So you can see the spots that had been cut out and that's where I did the sewing. The book is done. So let me show you the difference. The Peltex will stand up. The fusible fleece will stand up but after some time it won't stand up as straight. Both ways work great. If the panel is very distorted, this is the way to go because that Peltex will shove it all back into the right shape. If it's already a nice square panel, well, you can always use the fusible fleece. And if the book does not have anywhere for you to sign it, be sure to put a label in it so for generations to come, they'll know who made the book. Oftentimes, on the panel for the book, if there's space, they'll give you another picture or a panel. And with the panels, you can do different things. This one's big enough that I could do a little pillow with it. On the other one, I was just able to cut out the name and I just sewed it on a bag so that the book will go in a bag and they'll be able to tote that book around. So I either have a book bag or a pillow for them to be comfortable while they're reading. So we have a book bag for one and we have a pillow from the other. Quilting Treasures has a lot of book panels available. It will be very hard to decide which one you're going to want to do. And regardless if you do a soft, soft book or a soft, hard book, well, they're both right, they're both fun, quick and easy, and they make gifts that will last a long time. Thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe, and as always, come on back. Let's see what we're sewing next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.